Here's a common problem. Your router is downstairs, but your entertainment room with all your media devices like your smart TV and BoxyBox are upstairs with no way to connect to the internet. And that's where the wireless and dual band media bridge comes into play. The DAP1513 allows you to easily connect up to four internet enabled devices to your wireless network without actually having to be wireless. Also, with integrated QoS or quality of service, you can prioritize traffic flow to those devices, meaning that you can make sure that Voodoo has the highest priority to stream HD movies without additional buffering. Plus, the dual band technology helps avoid interference and ensure smooth video streaming or online gaming on the 5 GHz band while you surf the web or share photos on the 2.4 GHz band. Let me give you a closer look. As usual, the first thing that you'll see is the product documentation and the installation CD, followed by the DAP1513, also known as the wireless and dual band media bridge, an ethernet cable, and the power adapter. Taking a closer look at the wireless bridge, on the front you'll notice the power network LEDs, on top the WPS button for quick and easy connection to WPS enabled routers. On the back you have four LAN ports with port based traffic priority from highest to high and down to medium a reset button, and a power connector. Now we're going to set up the DAP1513 in our entertainment center to connect our devices, like a sling box, game console, and a smart TV, all of which need internet access. Start by plugging in the power and connect the devices to the LAN ports. We connect the sling box to the port label's highest so it can have priority over the other devices. Press the WPS button on top, and within two minutes press the WPS button on your router. This will automatically add the wireless bridge to your existing wireless network. Most D-Link routers are WPS enabled, but if yours isn't, here's how to manually configure the DAP1513. Start by connecting the DAP1315 directly to your computer with an ethernet cable. Then launch a web browser and in the address bar type 192.168.0.50. This will give you access to the setup wizard on the media bridge. Follow the prompts until you get to the configuration method screen and select manual. Then find your existing wireless network using the Site Survey button. This will bring up all the wireless signals in your area. Select Yours and click Connect. If you have wireless security enabled, you'll be prompted to enter your password. Do so and then click Next. And that's it. In just a few short moments, your wireless and dual band media bridge and up to four other devices will be connected to the wireless network without actually having to be wireless. So if you need to get internet to your entertainment center, especially if you need more than one connection, you need D-Link's wireless and dual band media bridge. The DAP1513 allows you to bridge your wireless connection to four other devices, such as your smart TV, game console, NAS device, and a boxy box for a fast and reliable connection. Thanks for watching.